I mean, that was literally the longest intro ever just to say what I wanted to say. But you know how I feel about vintage bags. Hello guys, I'm in a fabulous mood today because we are talking about one of my favorite subjects of all time, vintage designer handbags. Now, if you've been around for a minute, you know my love for vintage. Like, you know I will go vintage over new any day. I realized with COVID going around, I have very few hobbies, but one of my favorite hobbies is searching for the perfect vintage bag. A bag that I think is going to be the next hot thing, a bag that I think has a vibe and a moment, but isn't technically cool. I love vintage bags. Like, I feel like a huge chunk of my YouTube life and channel is all about vintage bags. So what's better fitted to share with you guys my vintage handbag collection video. So today I thought I would share with you guys all of my vintage pieces that I currently have in my house. I do have a few pieces that are on loaner to my mom and I took some bags from her in exchange and we kind of play around with them because my mom does love vintage bags as well. So I do have a few missing from my collection but I'd say 97% of the collection is in here in my closet. I have done a vintage handbag collection video a minute ago. I will link it down below, but my collection has changed a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot since then. So there is my grandmother's Louis Vuitton Riviera that is on top with my vintage Louis Vuitton suitcases that I cannot reach. It'll be in my last vintage collection video, so you can see it in there if you want. I'm gonna do clutches. I don't generally do them, but since we're gonna be going real quick and not talking too much about each bag, Let's show them in here. This is the vintage toiletry case. I think it's the 26. I suck with sizes, but uh, this is Louis Vuitton, love this. Honestly, it's really old. I used to use this as a clutch. I don't use it anymore. Just because the inside is more toiletry vibe now. So when I go on vacation, this is the toiletry pouch I always bring with me. It is fantastic. I love it. If you're stuck in a bind, it doubles up as a clutch, but you will see why on vacation I never really use this as a clutch and it really just stays as a toiletry pouch. I cannot believe the first Louis piece that I ever bought with my own money at the Louis store is officially considered vintage. So by vintage, I always talk 20 years plus. I bought this bag 20 years ago. It'll be 20, oh my God, it'll be 20 years this month that I've gotten this bag. So this is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire. I bought this for I think $210 20 years ago and it was a production. Like I talked about it for like two months before I picked it up. This is such a phenomenal bag. I still to this day use it. When I go on vacation, this is my go-to clutch that I bring with me. Most of the time, I generally just carry it like this because I do like it as a clutch, but I do have longer straps. I play around with it a lot. Phenomenal bag. All right, I have these two bad boys. I bought these three, four years ago when I started talking to you guys about buying saddlebags. For those of you who listened, shout out. Thank God you did, because they're selling for like $2,000 and you know we paid $200 for them. So I bought these around the same time that I was saddlebag talking. I was all about the oblique print. I was like, Dior's gonna bring it back for sure. People are loving prints again. Monogram was becoming hot again and I was like, I'm just gonna get a few monogram pieces. I've always loved a Dior oblique print. So I picked up these two clutches. I have this one in the burgundy that I love but I do not love it as much as I love this one. This one is a trifold. It also has a crossbody strap that I never use. I really just use this as a clutch, but this bag, oh, amazing. I paid $100 for each of these. Like when I tell you I love vintage shopping, I love vintage shopping. My thing, my biggest thing about vintage is to find bags that aren't on the radar yet and get them out of steel. Like I like, I like get so excited when I get a bag out of steel. You want to talk bag out of steel? Bag out of steel. I got the nylon reissue last year, far before they were reissuing, but I had a vibe that the early 2000s were coming back and this bag, I remember as an early 2000er being obsessed with this bag and being like, no, I can't, I can't afford it, it's nylon. Like I was broke as a college student, I was so broke. And I used to work in a luxury department store so I remember seeing all the cool bags go by and just me just being like, one day. So I am buying pretty much all the bags I was obsessed with back then. 
this being one of them. I paid $295 for this bag before it was reissued. It is in mint condition. I generally always rather vintage over the reissue and this one is like like insane how much I prefer the old school nylon to new school nylon. Okay, can we talk about bag porn? Bag porn! This is the Lady Dior in clear vinyl. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop it. I wrapped my vintage Louis Vuitton Steven Sprouse silk scarf around the handle to just make that extra pop of gorgeousness. This one was on the pricier side. I got it from Retaish in Montreal, but I have a 15% off promo code for them and they're a small business and I bought it during COVID. So I was like, I'm supporting a small local business. I'll put their link down below because that promo code is still valid by the way. But yeah, it was on the pricier side, but I justified it because I was like, eh. oh my God. Oh my God. Lueve belt bag in this gorgeous, like glossy leather with the Lueve gold logo at the front. So here is the belt bag. It just ties through right here. But what is really cool about this is these loops are wide enough that you can pretty much put in any strap and wear it like crossbody kind of hanging frontwards like this. Ugh. I got this one from Vintage Armor. Vintage Armor is my chick for vintage on Instagram. She has the best stuff. She's based out of Bangkok, so I feel like everywhere in Asia, just so much cooler, especially on the micro bags, like they know what's up. And she always has the coolest baby micro bags. So if you're looking for that, Vintage Armor. First one here is the Galliano for Dior Rasta Limited Edition Collection. I got this one as a like collector's piece, but I loved it so much I used it. Got this from Vintage Armor. She sourced it for me and oh my god. Like I love my new saddlebag, but like the vintage saddles, there's just something special about them. this was my score of life saddlebag. This was purchased from Vintage Armor pre-reissue at a great price. I've since sold a few saddlebags, but like the average saddlebag I paid $250 for. $250. Okay, my latest find. Retaish found it for me. I wanted this bag so bad. I have literally been looking for the perfect Fendi croissant mini baguette for two years now. Two years. When I started looking for these, they were like $100. Like nobody wanted them. And then Kourtney Kardashian carried them and they all of a sudden went up to $800. I don't even care because I am so happy I found this one. This was like the void in my baguette collection. I love this bag so much so so much I will go on a hunt and look for bags for you guys also and leave them down in the description box because I have a few vintage places Retaish, Vintage Armoire and some eBay resellers that I think sell fabulous stuff and if I find some great stuff I'll link them down below for you guys but this bag shut up shut up okay let's talk Fendi baguettes you guys know this one is my favorite this is the black with the blackout hardware. I have also the blackout hardware. The blackout hardware on the baguette is my favorite. And this one is on the double-faced gray jersey. Then can we talk about the mini mama? I got from Barbara Rossi, the Persian babe. We did a swap two years ago, three years ago on vintage handbags because she's also really into them. I got her a denim saddlebag and she sent me the mini mama baguette. We both were Nostradamus when it came to finding cool bags that our budget was like $200, I think, for the swap. So like we both nailed these bags super cheap and now they're selling both for thousands. Barbara, this is a high five to you because we're awesome chicks. Another vintage bag that I happen to be obsessed with is the Fendi Chef bag. I love this bag. Again, this was never reissued, but it got really, really hot last summer, and I picked these up pre them getting really hot. I think I paid $150 for this one. I paid $250 for this one. This one is the perforated leather version, mint condition, like mint condition to a point of like you don't even understand. 
And then this one, which I don't think was even carried. Monique from Instagram was actually showing this bag. She bought it and she's like, I never use it. I was like, can I buy it? And she's like, oh yeah, just buy it for what I paid for it. I was like, <laughs> thank you, Monique, thank you. And uh, I got on the mail a week later and I just, I can't. This is such a gorgeous bag. They're both gorgeous. Vintage is so special. Another bag that was a dream of mine in the early 2000s. This teeny tiny baby everything. It's called, I think, the Gucci pouch. I'm into all these Gucci pouches, by the way. I am on a strong, like, hunch. Like, my, like, spidey senses are tingling. These are coming back. I just bought, I'll insert a picture of the bag I just bought for $197 US. I just bought it, it's on the way, it should be delivered on Friday. So probably the day that this video goes out, I'll show you guys a picture on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. You'll see everything first dibs. So I'll put my handle over here so you guys can go check me out. But Friday or Saturday, the bag is set to deliver. So I hope it's as good as I think it is. By the way guys, Americans, Take advantage of the Canadian sites I'm linking because our exchange rate sucks right now. You're making 40% savings on Canadian prices right now. So I got this bag for five something and I just found one for 650. So I'll link it down below, but 650 Canadian, which is like 420 or something for you guys. So I'll link this down below because this bag is quite insane, if I can say so myself. Another bag I picked up that I the Jackie bag. The Jackie by Gucci was reissued six months ago and I picked it up in leather. My mom has the leather version and I also picked it up this way in the canvas version. Now this one needs a little bit of TLC. It arrived during COVID so I haven't had a chance to bring it to my cobbler to get checked out. The leather needs to kind of be it needs to be reworked. It's very very stiff right now but the actual canvas and corners look beautiful. Like it's in really phenomenal condition. I got this one from a Japanese reseller on eBay. I will link them down below. A lot of people for some reason are very concerned buying from Japanese resellers. Um, the laws in Japan are very, very strict about selling counterfeits. So you're actually much safer buying from Japanese resellers than probably anywhere else in the world. If As soon as I see Japanese reseller with a power seller logo on eBay, I'm all good. I always authenticate after the fact anyways if I spent over a certain amount, but I'll, I'll link a few down below that I love. But yeah, the Gucci Jackie bag was a bit of a score. I paid $130 for it, and now they're like reissued for thousands. A unicorn in the wild! I love her. I love her. Oh my God, is she, like even with like this colored sweater, ah! This is the bag that made me start obsessing over bag. This is the white multicolor Speedy made famous by Jessica Simpson. She was also as obsessed with this bag as I was, but I had no money and couldn't buy it, so I bought it as a grown-up. I even was able to find it through Vintage Armoire with the green and the pink at the front, which is the way I wanted it when it first came out. I haven't even had a chance to style this bag yet, but I put her on my shelf and it's the first bag that I see when I walk into my closet and I'm like, oh, I love you. I think I can officially talk about this bag as vintage now. This is my first Louis Vuitton ever. My parents bought this for me. It was $385 when they bought it for me. This was my birthday present. I can't remember if it was my 18th or 21st, but it was like 2001, I think, 2000. I can't remember when it was, it might have been 2004. I don't know, but it's old and my parents got it for me and it was my first big girl designer bag. I got this about a year after I got my mini pochette accessoire and I will never get rid of this bag. It has been so loved. The patina is literally like black on top. This bag to me is everything. I still use this when I travel. I don't much, I don't really use it much day to day anymore, but I've chotched her up. I've made her sexy and oh, I love her. Vintage Bottega for like $200 before new Bottega became a thing. I love this bag. This is the Bottega Intrecciato in the small size. It's not the one with the rolled handle, it's the flat handle one. And I got this on eBay for cheap, cheap, cheap. It is beautiful, it is mushy, it is in such phenomenal condition. Most importantly, it is Bottega Veneta. What is the coolest brand of the moment right now? 
Bottega Veneta. What's this bag that I bought vintage? Bottega Veneta. $200 though. This bag is borrowed from my mama. The Boston bag by Gucci. I love this bag. I freaking adore this bag. It is beautiful. My mom takes such good care of her stuff too. It is the orange and purple version of the Boston bag with the orange trim leather. This is gorgeous. You know what's crazy? I'm over new Gucci, but I'm so into old Gucci. We should start a hashtag, hashtag old Gucci for the win because the new stuff with the Marmol, I'm like, man, I'm done. But this stuff, this stuff, I'm into it. I am so into this Gucci. Speaking of that Gucci, you wanna talk about this gorgeous girl? Look at this. So I use this as a travel bag with the big GG right over there. I mean, I have no words. The tassel. I feel like a chic vintage doctor. I have nothing to say, I'm just looking at this bag spinning in front of me because it is that gorgeous. You know I had to bust this bag out for this video. My Louis Vuitton Vintage Noe bag. This was probably one of the first vintage bags I started dabbling into. I got this bag seven years ago. I've always loved Louis Vuitton, but I didn't love this bag new. I thought it was too stiff and I thought it wasn't as floppy as I wanted it to be. And then Kelly, who still works with me all these years later, was telling me, well, babe, why don't you just buy an old one, a vintage one? It'll be nice and slouchy. It'll be the old school monogram that's like thicker but mushier for some reason. And that's what I did. I bought this on eBay for a great price. The patina underneath is beautiful. It's very equal. I used this a lot when Luca was a baby. This was a really practical bag that I would just put on the stroller, like on the... You know that, that pushy thing? I haven't used the stroller in a minute. The handle, I would just clip that there and I'd have everything with me. In there would be my purse and I'd put like snacks and wipes and stuff like that. This bag is the ultimate mom bag. I have no idea what this bag is called, but this bag was super hot when I was like 22 years old and I found it and I became obsessed with it and then I started seeing cool influencers carrying it and I was like, ooh, Mal, you did a good thing. Love the handles, love Love that it goes on the shoulder, but you know me, I never put things on the shoulder. I'm a top handle type of chick, but this bag is just like that, like perfect, like, oh, let me grab my purse. It's very polished, I find, but like super cool and like underground vintage chick at the same time. Okay, I kept my favorite vintage bag for last. This was sourced for me by Vintage Armoire. I have nothing else to say. I waited, I think, three years for this bag. This is the vintage Dior saddlebag, the one with the wider belt with the adjustable belt on the side. It is no logo except for the dangling D at the front. That sounds so bad, the dangling D. I feel like this, this, and this are my three unicorns. These are bags that I never thought I would own because of how difficult the search was. But I will say, the search was fun and it was worth it, but I'm really happy I got it now. Melissa coming in as I'm editing. I completely forgot two of my favorite bags. I can't believe I forgot to mention these, especially this one. Who forgets this bag? So this is the Bottega Veneta um, toiletry bag, the Intrecciato toiletry bag. This is from years and years and years ago. And uh, yeah, I got it and I love it. And it's part of my vintage collection. Last bag I forgot to mention is my, I can't, I don't actually know what this bag is called but it is the denim collection. And when they came out with a patchwork this year, which I don't like, by the way, I started thinking, hmm, denim would be a really nice addition. And I don't know, I started feeling a vibe. I got this kind of affordable. And then like last month or two months ago, they started going up to like thousands of dollars. So I don't know if I've stumbled on something. If you guys can get this bag for a good price, highly recommend. All right, guys, that is it. 29 minutes and 28 seconds of filming. Hopefully I can get this down lower, but this is my entire vintage handbag collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to check out all the links I'll include for you guys down below. And I don't have anything else to say except I love you so, 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 so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.